two opposing factors at play. One, uh, the higher deficits would probably come back to haunt us more so because the trade deficit was widened because imports might stay elevated, but exports might dwindle because of the weak global macro. In the same vein, while the world growth numbers would be crumbling lower, India would probably come down, but not really crumble and still be elevated compared to the rest of the world. So how do you think you guys think about that? How do you think global investors would think about that? Uh, bang on uh, target, actually, Neeraj. I think uh, in a world where you know global economy is kind of slowing and our export numbers will start when you know probably see some amount of weakness. Uh, you know, one of those kind of data points is basically if you see the monthly auto numbers, right? The exports in that kind of uh, numbers, you've seen some marginal weakness already in them, right? So while the global would be much bigger pain. India would be much better relatively. Now, we should all understand that it is only relative, right? When the global markets kind of fall, India is not going to, uh, you know, stand out saying that India will go up and the whole global market will fall down. It doesn't happen that way. I mean, we talk about decoupling, but uh, we happen. always uh, kind of follow the global market. So, uh, but the only good point is here that because of the relative strength, the uh, our performance would be much better in terms of the falling as well uh, in terms of that we would outperform the global markets now there are two reasons to it one that while we see dollar index strengthening and we are already seeing 109 half almost uh, in terms of dxy uh, there is an inherent pressure on the emerging markets generally and from in terms of the flow However, because of the state of broad China is at this point in time, we are seeing some amount of rebalancing towards India in terms of the portfolios. So while we are on an overall basis looking at a scenario where uh, people would take out risk assets or money from the risk assets, uh, there is a slight rebalancing in favor of India, which will help India in terms of uh, cushioning the downfall, uh, should I say, from a global context. You, you reckon that's what's uh, helping India currently as well? EM, ex-China funds and their money coming into India currently? Of course. I mean, if you see the last month, I think our FPI flows uh, you know, have been pretty strong. Right Now, one of those reasons is one, as I said, uh, towards the rebalancing and as well, uh, people are raising, you know, few funds have raised money from a global context in terms of emerging markets, focused ex-China as well. So, uh, Global investors are now starting to look at emerging market ex China, which is which is kind of helping us at this point in time. Actually, irrespective of what it does in the short term, Weber, could this be a really big long term tailwind? For years, we've argued that hey, India should have its individual size. Even if that doesn't happen, right? Ex China EM funds, India would have a disproportionately higher weightage, I presume. And that means from a longer term perspective, a great story for inflows, right? Global money coming in. Without a doubt. I would say without a doubt. And uh, if we kind of try and ignore the, not ignore completely, but if we try, try and uh, take out the potential pain which may happen in the next two to three months or something like that, uh -huh. post that, my view is basically that we, 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 we are one of those kind of standout markets globally. So the amount of FPI flows uh, as you mentioned, next China as well, from an emerging market perspective, and on an overall basis as well, that which is the country which is kind of growing much better than you know any other, uh, and which has a uh, capacity to grow on a consistent basis going forward, purely because of the fantastic demography, or you know, or a demography which is not compared to anyone in the world. Uh, you know, I would definitely want to have my money invested into that kind of geography. So we would surely be uh, one of those kind of standout countries and we would uh, be in a very sweet spot in that context right in that perspective uh, you know while people will continue to talk about valuations being elevated but will be con will continue to be at an elevated valuation for a very prolonged period of time as well